partners in the science community, our researchers, scientists, and engineers, ladies and gentlemen, a pleasant day to everyone. The Department of Science and Technology Philippine Council for Industry, Energy, and Emerging Technology Research and Development is pleased to be with you all today to share our identified priority areas under the industry, energy, and emerging technology sectors for the 2024 call for proposals. As we continue to champion the science for the people, the USTP shirt aims to improve the innovation system of the Philippines to spur economic progress through Pichard's call for proposals. This call was anchored on the harmonized national R&D agenda directed through the sectoral roadmaps and affirmed on a series of consultations with experts, researchers, and key stakeholders from the industry, government, and uh, academic sectors. This, year, this year's call for proposals seeks to solicit new ideas on key major areas, namely, energy and utility systems, emerging technology, industrial technology, science communication, and policy. In total, we are looking for, to fund 304 R&D proposals for a total of 6.7 billion. Let me now quickly run down on the details of each sector so you can have an idea of the types of proposals we are looking for. Guided by the Republic Act 9513, or the Renewable Energy Act, we are looking for technologies that will harness indigenous and re energy, renewable energy resources so that Filipinos can enjoy clean, abundant, and efficient supply of energy. We will very much welcome proposals on solar, wind, ocean, and hydropower systems, waste to energy and hydrogen systems and technologies, energy storage, energy efficiency, and conservation. For the transportation sector, we will be focusing on maritime and logistics initiatives aligned with the priorities of the Department of Transportation and the Department of Energy. The projects we'll fund should focus on road safety, hybrid maritime vessels and systems, and decision support tools for logistics. On the utility sector, we intend to boost the con construction and water resource management sectors. The smart approach for the construction industry program aims to develop and deploy indigenous construction materials and innovative techniques and tools. For the smart and innovative water management and infrastructure program, we will spur more, more innovations that will manage our water sources, including surface water and groundwater. We are also looking for technologies that will address water-related hazards like flooding and drought. Food and beverage processing is a main growth driver of the Philippine manufacturing sector, with a gross value added uh, amounting to $795.83 billion in 2018 and an annual growth of 2.4%. For our call for the proposals in the food sector, we will uh, be focusing on food safety, food innovation, halal s and and the smart food value chain in the new normal. We are on the lookout for ideas that can revolutionize the current practices of industries for better quality products with improved safety and nutritional benefits. We are also continuing the implementation of the DOST halal s and program, and we will be supporting more initiatives on human resource development and knowledge transfer through the establishment of a halal knowledge center and a halal summit. Under the process sector, we are inviting researchers to submit their proposals under the Natural Products Program for gums, resins, and oils, and the food industry as a user of natural dyes. Chemical and Biological Manufacturing and Allied uh, Industries Program for in as customers of metrology such as food, beverage, and laboratories so that will so be able to support them. We are also looking out for a textiles program to help revitalize the thriving uh, textile industry and the agro-industrial program to uplift our coffee industry. For the mining and mineral sector, we intend to further revitalize the mining industry and accelerate its, uh, the economic development without compromising the environment and the health of people. We are therefore looking forward to collaborating with all of you to develop innovative technologies on producing pellets for iron and steel making using different iron and iron-rich mineral ores. We also encourage proposals for refining and casting of local copper to develop products that will link with the wire harness industry. 
We will also be funding proposals that aim to add value to Bauxite by developing innovative products for industrial applications. We also would like to study and determine the geological characterization and viable extraction of critical minerals from iron, chromite, bauxite, ores, and copper mining tailings for emerging technology applications. For our metals and engineering program, we join researchers from the private and government agencies to submit projects on machining and fabrication, tool and die, metal casting, and surface engineering. Under machining and fabrication, we, we are looking for innovative, cost-effective, and appropriate machineries, parts, and engineered products, or MPAPs. We are also interested in proposals that aim to establish facilities to contribute to the advancement of the local metal casting industry. With the surface engineering sector, we hope to support projects that will develop and create materials applicable for metal coating, polishing, and metal finishing. Moving forward to the emerging technology sector, we're looking for innovations on materials for energy, sensing and smart materials, materials informatics, and additive manufacturing. The global photonics market has reached more than 600 billion and is continuously growing. We are interested in spurring innovations in this sector that will push for the delivery and processing of information, development of imaging materials, components, and devices. We would also welcome proposals on the use of photonics for materials testing, imaging, and manufacturing applications. Information and communications technologies are key enablers of innovation and has become an essential component in our shift towards the new normal. Artificial intelligence is one of the preferred priority areas as one of the identified important technologies that will usher the country to the fourth industrial revolution. The proposed projects must develop technologies on the following priority areas. Recommended systems, financial security uh, systems, intelligent applications, reinforcement and learning, supervised and unsupervised learning, and research data repository and catalog systems to include policies on data sharing. The Philippine electronics industry is the largest contributor to the country's manufacturing sector. To further boost this industry, it's our goal to fund projects in integrated circuit design, specifically on emerging memory devices, and on scaling down the complementary metal oxide semiconductor technology. We'll also delve into the development of collaborative robots and robots as services, wearable electronics, and local prototyping of digital and handheld medical devices. Under the Smart City Challenge uh, PH program, we're looking for proposals that will turn city vision into reality using smart city framework as toolkit of smart practices. For the Industry 4.0 program, pro proposed projects must develop technologies on the establishment of an Industry 4.0 demo laboratory or factory, product life cycle studies, and the development of various automation systems and digital transformation models for the industries. Lastly, our quantum technology program will support small projects that will use available technologies such as quantum circuit simulators or prototyping of quantum processors and experimental platforms for quantum simulation. In the past years, DSTP shared funded various space technology application projects for disaster preparedness and mitigation, resource management, drought and crop assessment and forecasting to help enhance the mandated agencies in delivering key services to the Filipino people. In 2024, we will be looking forward to proposals that will make use of space-borne and remote sensing technologies in various applications. Moving on to special concerns, we will further enrich our environment through our National Research and Development Program for the Prevention and Control of Water Pollution, the National Research and Development Program for the Prevention and Control of Air Pollution, and the Innovative Solutions to Solid Waste Management. For the program on water pollution, we are looking for proposals for the development of clean technologies for wastewater treatment, management, and reuse. For the preventive and control of air pollution, our priorities are the following. Establishment of a center for aerosol and gas analyzer, emission or pollution control technologies and devices, responsible innovations for sustainable indoor air quality management, 
black carbon deposition and control, and gaseous pollutant management and control. As for the solid waste management program, we'll be supporting interdisciplinary research projects to understand the risks that solid waste pollution poses and provide technologies and interventions. Our creative industries are considered as one of the fastest growing sectors in the global economy, which contributes significantly to our gross domestic product, particular, uh, uh, as well as uh, for other developed countries. As a support to the game, animation, and film industries, we are seeking proposals that will push for the development of serious games and gamification apps. We are also looking for innovations that will enhance movie making and animations. Our functional aesthetic creations, uh, your, submit your proposals on materials innovation, footwear innovations, and establishment of facilities and laboratories. Lastly, for our furniture industry, we intend to support projects on materials innovations, furniture designs, and product innovations, and uh, facilities and laboratories for this. As a country often ravaged by climatological and geohazards, we will support more R&D projects that aim to develop multi-hazard assessment tools and systems, vulnerability assessment, risk and warning communication systems, and localization of observation of forecasting tools and monitoring networks. For our unmanned vehicle systems, we welcome proposals on the use of uh, on the on the development of UVS with intelligent autopilot systems, unmanned underwater survey and imaging secured communications infrastructure systems, platforms with smart indigenous materials, innovative or hybrid energy sources and automation recharging, UVS with advanced imaging techniques or systems for disaster response and industrial applications. It's one thing to do science and it's also another thing to do science communicating. We are therefore eyeing for an integrated, inclusive and innovative approach in communicating science in the Philippines through this call for proposals. We shall provide support for researchers on science communications, researchers on studies and evaluation of science communication, development of infrastructure for science communication, and development of technologies for science communication. Interested researchers may submit proposals starting March 1 to 2022 to March 31 of the same month, of the same year. The evaluation period will be on the uh, starting on the next month, April 1 to June 6, 2022, and the approved projects will start by January of 2024. You may submit your proposals to our DUST Project Management Information Systems, and to read the details of our call for proposals, you can check it through our website. We are looking forward to receiving your research proposals under the priority areas we have identified for the industry, energy, and emerging technology sectors, and join us in uplifting the Philippines through SNT initiatives and game-changing R&D. If you have any questions or concerns on the call for proposals, or if you just want to keep us in touch and to be updated on what we're up to, send us an email. We also have an active pages that and accounts on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and through our separate social media uh, campaign, The Pinoy Science, on Facebook and TikTok. Maraming salamat at magandang umaga po.